Hello guys, my name is Manav and today I've got a very short After Effects tutorial for you guys. So what we're gonna, what we're gonna make are these rectangles that they show up in this animation. So I'll just sh show you guys that bit. Yeah, just the rectangles, the one that pop out. So it's like a nice transition effect. So let's get started. Uh, let me make a new composition over here. 60 FPS, 1920 by 1080, that's fine. Uh, what I'll do is I'll copy everything from this composition. This is the project from earlier. I'll copy everything except these four shape layers. So let's copy all that, deselect these, control C, control V. And let's undo that and copy it again so <laughs> it happens in the right order. Let's go top to bottom. Yeah, now they're in the right order so they should show up properly. Let's trim our work area somewhere over here. Let's go even smaller. Yeah. Now at this point, the video is exactly the same as the one I just showed you, except it doesn't have those uh, rectangles showing up at the 16th second when the song changes. Okay. So now I would like to create that effect. Let's start by going to the point where uh, it transitions, which is uh, Hold on a second, let me just see something. It is changing colors, right? Yeah. So it's happening right after the 15th mark, 15th second mark. Yeah, it starts changing color at 15 and it's done changing colors at 16. Yeah. So let's go to the 15th frame. I'm using control and arrow key to change the frame to the 15th second and now at the 15th second we can uh, zoom in a bit so we can see individual frames and stuff okay now what I would like to do is uh, this is the spectrum spectrum I, I don't know if you call that a spectrum but this thing reacts to music now I would like the uh, shape layers to be over here so I'll press new shape layer Actually, I would want it to be right here. Okay, so new shape layer. In that shape layer, I'll select the rectangle tool. I'll, I'll press and uh, click and hold. I'll drag a bit. Then I'll hold on to control. So I get a proper uh, square. And then I can press shift so that I get a perfect square. Now I want it to be somewhere around this big. That's fine. Okay. Now I want to create a mask on this. So I'll press this tool, I'll select a square again. I'll go somewhere in the middle, shift and control. Now I'll just make it around the slightly smaller than the size before. And then in the shape layer, I'll uh, open it up if it's not already opened. Open the shape layer which we just created and I press subtract now we get this uh, square with like a with transparent thingy in the middle okay now I can even uh, edit the mask by I think double clicking this yeah and now it lets me edit it now I can do whatever hell I want with it what I would like to do is make it slightly bigger so I'm holding shift and control right now to make it around this big now I like that size I would like to rotate it by 45 degrees I pressed R to open rotation instead of pressing R you can also always just open it like this as well go to transform rotation and you press this and type in 45 degrees okay now uh, now this is good what I would like to do is I would like it to start showing up uh, this is 60 frame composition so I would like to show like it to show up at 14 45 
So actually, let's let's make that uh, 15, 30. I would like you to show up at 30. The halfway mark between uh, 15th and 16th second. 16th second is when the transformation completely happens into red. So at that point, I would like its size to be 300. I want it to be done with the animation at that point. Okay. And now at 15, 10, yeah, I would like the size to be 1. So in just 20 frames, which is one fourth of a second, I think, it would be done with its animation. Okay. Now I'll open the opacity with T. I will set the opacity to be at 15.9. I want the opacity to be 100%. At 15.8, I want the opacity to be 0. Okay. And now when it's done with its animation, right around 25 and then 30 when it's done becoming 300 percent size i would like the opacity to be uh, let's go back a frame at this point i want the opacity to be 100 so i keyframe that and at this point i want the opacity to be zero okay now i can uh, slice this off now now we have this animation okay but we want multiple of those so i'll just slice this off uh, right around the point where it's zero opacity which is 1508 uh, remember it's two seconds before or two frames before the point where the animation starts so at that point i'll press alt and bracket open that will trim the composition over here and at this point at 1530 i want to trim the outward edge and so i'll press alt and bracket close okay so now we have this animation now i'll duplicate this okay and so this one starts at 15 10 right i want the one i just duplicated to start at 15 15 right here so because of that 15 20 we get this i want these to be closer together so let's go to 15 12 and start the animation over there oh by the way this one starts at 15 8 even though the animation starts at 1510, the composition starts at 15, uh, the layer starts at 1508. So I want the layer to be at 1512 so that it shows up at 1514 and right around 1520, they're like this. Okay. So now there's a four frame difference. So I'll uh, do the same thing with this. I'll duplicate it, go forward four frames. So 15, 16, I want this to start. Uh, by the way to set where the layer starts i just go to a part in the video with control and arrow by going frame by frame and then if i open, press bracket open without pressing alt or anything else just press bracket open and the layer is set to that point okay so now this one starts at 15 16. i duplicate it again go to 15 20 which is four seconds ahead four frames ahead i'm sorry i keep saying that and at this point got this nice animation yeah so it's a nice way to transition uh, your video into something else. Okay. So thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay awesome bros and uh, I'll see you in the next one. I keep looking at the bike thinking I'm looking at you but... <laughs> uh, anyway, see you guys in the next one. Stay awesome.